What's up guys, Jordan here from Timicon Perth and in this video we are going to be getting into the construction of Japanese chisels and going into a few of the things that make them different to our more familiar western style chisels that we're all used to. Now a well known fact about Japanese chisels is that they use a laminated steel and that is a hard steel laminated on the bottom for the bevel edge and then a thicker but softer steel on the top to make up the bulk of the blade and the tang and things like that. This construction method means that they can utilize the best properties of both. The softer steel is in there to kind of bring up its durability and overall strength, while the high carbon hard steel is there to kind of get the best properties for edge retention, abrasion resistance, and things like that, that make them ideal for those difficult soft woods. Now, another well-known difference about Japanese chisels is the hollow ground out back, and that is somewhat related to the point we just made about using a super hard steel on the back. And that's because, well, if you're gonna be flattening the back of a chisel, you don't wanna be there forever. And the harder that steel is, the longer it's gonna take. So by doing this little hollow grind out there, it basically just minimizes the amount of material that will require flattening, speeding up the sharpening process and making the whole end user experience just more satisfying. Japanese chisels are a four piece tang design and this is something that throws people off all the time as when you look at the assembled chisels, it really just does appear like a standard Western socketed chisel like this one. But as you can clearly see here, it's actually got a tang with this little floating cup, which is called a ferrule or a socket, its handle, as well as its metal ring. It's thanks to this split socket that as you drive the handle onto the tang through everyday use, the socket will actually compress the handle onto the tang further, making it grip harder onto the tang every time you strike the chisel. So yes, it does reinforce the handle from splitting along the tang, but it's actually doing a whole lot more than meets the eye, and that is really cool. Lastly, we're gonna look at this steel hoop. And fundamentally, there is no real difference between this and the Western style chisel hoops, except for maybe the fact that this is designed to be reset over use. So as we actually use the chisels and wear out the top by hitting on it with a mallet, we're gonna start mustering them out. So we'd actually cut the end off, reset this hoop further down the handle and continue using. So while on the outside, Japanese chisels really do look great and they definitely do drum up a lot of toolbox envy from your friends, they are a solid piece of kit and they really do deserve the respect of being used and not just sitting on the shelf. So that's it for this video. Stay tuned for our upcoming setup and use video for these chisels. And if you want to see our whole range of Japanese chisels on our website, there will be a link to that in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.